Welcome to our short overview of how to synchronize a non-generator circuit breaker, such as bus sectionalizer or grid incomer, with our user-friendly REC 640 protection and control relay. REC 640 can handle two different synchronizing scenarios. In this video, we will focus on synchronizing a non-generator circuit breaker. The precondition for using REC 640 for the non-generator circuit breaker synchronization is that the generator synchronization is also managed by REC 640 Relay. To get more information, please take a look at our REC 640 How-To video series, Part 4, Synchronization of a Generator Circuit Breaker. Our auto synchronization solution can manage large networks with several generator circuit breakers and non-generator circuit breakers. The solution automatically keeps on track the actual switching status of different primary switching devices, and depending on the selected breaker for synchronization, it can always offer the correct control view. Our solution automatically connects the necessary voltage measurement signals, generator controls, and modes for the synchronizer. No additional panels or hard wiring are necessary. On this single line diagram, you have three generators and a bus sectionalizer breaker. The breaker divides the bus bar leaving generator number three and generators four and five on different sides. The generators in this example are supplying local loads without connection to the grid. The target is to close the bus sectionalizer breaker in a synchronized manner. Let's start the procedure by tapping the symbol of the breaker you want to close. Different options to do synchronization are shown under the settings. In manual mode, all controls must be done manually, including closing of the breaker. In semi-automatic mode, the relay takes care of the controls, but the breaker closing has to be done manually. In automatic mode, all will be handled by the relay. Let's stick with the automatic mode. In case the two network parts are already running in synchronous mode, meaning that there is no need to actually control the generators on different sides of the bus bar, only SynchroCheck will be applied. There are different modes for the SynchroCheck functionality. Asynchronous mode, meaning you use it when you want to adjust the selected generator, or the synchronous mode, which is needed when the generators are already running in a synchronous manner. Let's stick with the asynchronous mode. Also, in cases when one side of the circuit breaker or both sides are dead, meaning not energized, you still have the possibility to close the breaker by selecting the relevant mode for the live slash dead mode settings. When the selections are stored, you can continue with the actual synchronization by tapping S. You get a prompt referring to the situation where the synchronization conditions are already met and the breaker will close immediately once you confirm the synchronization. In this example, next step is to select which generators participate in the synchronization. Target is that one side of the bus sectionalizer remains as a reference, fixed side, and the generators on the other side will be controlled. Let's select generator four and five. While you do so, Notice that the generator number three becomes unavailable since it's on the other side of the bus sectionalizer breaker. Additionally, you can select a fine tuning source. It means that the selected generator four will be used for the fine matching at the very end of the synchronization process. Now you are ready to confirm the generator selection and proceed. Here you have a synchroscope view with measured frequency and voltage but no controls since the relay will automatically control both the voltage and the frequency of the participating generators, and it will close the breaker at the suitable point in time. Like that. If you want to open the bus sectionalizer once again, you tap the symbol and get the dialog to select the open function. Confirm it, and the bus sectionalizer opens. To learn more, Go to our web pages or watch our videos on our YouTube channel.